Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 13 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal, thermal expansion, and also the ideal gas law. For these problems, we can see um, there we have a very smart technologies to make it a very good fit for the relevant and the hole, right? You can see at room temperature 20 degree, the diameters for our relevant is L0. The diameter for the hole is L, this one. So we want to put this uh, orange part into this uh, blue part. It looks impossible, right? Because this is larger than this one. So we have a technology. We can make the relevant cool down, cool down. When it's cool, the diameter will decrease. At one temperature, it will de decrease, the diameter will decrease to this yellow part. And the yellow part and the blue part at the same size. So we can put this yellow part, yellow part, this yellow size in with the blue size. Then it perfectly fit, right? And then when the temperature increases, this yellow part will expand, but then it holds by this blue part, so this is a perfect fit. Now this is our technology. How can we do that? We can see we need to find the temperature. We need to cool this relevant to this yellow part. Agree? And then we can see um, for this leader, Thermal expansion, we have the equation look like this one. And we can check the initial diameter is L0, final diameter is L, agree? So the delta L is L minus L0. And alpha is come from materials. You can check your textbook, get it there. And also for the relevant, the temperature changes. Is the final temperature minus initial temperature. Initial temperature is T0. Agree? So this function can be write as this one. Now we input known quantities. You can see L, L0 is given, alpha is given, L0 is given, T0 is given. The only unknown is T. And we can find after calculation, T is just around negative 70 degree. Right, and we know the temperature for the dry ice is about negative 80 degrees, so it works. Thank you.